it's Sam. So today I'm doing a get ready with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the get ready with me. So I'm doing a full makeup look. So I got this, it's new to NYX. I have to be honest, it was $20, which I think is kind of high for NYX. I don't you guys feel like NYX used to be like quite affordable? 20 bucks for a primer? For drugstore? I don't know. Freezy Cooling Primer and Moisturizer. So I did not put a moisturizer on today. I did my Hyaluronic, my Vitamin C, and my Acne Cream, but I didn't put my moisturizer on because I figured seeing as it says primer and moisturizer, then I probably don't need one. So that's what the product looks like on the inside. It actually looks like it might be quite sticky. No scent. It feels definitely more like a gel. It kind of feels like the um, e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Not quite as sticky and a little bit more pore filling. Now that I'm feeling the texture of it, I do feel like I would probably use my normal moisturizer and then just go in with this as a primer. It doesn't feel like it would be that moisturizing. So today we're gonna to be testing out the new powder foundation from Makeup Forever. I'm not a huge powder foundation fan, but I thought, you know what? Let's just give it a go. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I've got the color 2N34 and it does open up. It's got a big mirror, your powder foundation, and then the sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sponge that it comes with. I bought this when I was tan and now I'm not. This is always what happens to me. So one side is like velvet and then one side is like spongy. So I guess we'll just try both sides. So on this side I'll do the smooth side and on this side I'll do the velvet side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go wah, right into it. Oh God. I really should have put self tanner on. I was gonna spray tan, but I couldn't get all of my old spray tan off today. So, um, it was not the it was not the day for it. Oh, this just doesn't look good. I don't know how everyone loves this. Like, I just really don't. Like, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look healthy. I mean, yeah, it covers, but does your skin look like skin? Do you know what I mean? Mm, I just don't like it. I don't even want to put it on. Also, I really need a tan right- Ew! My pores look massive. I'm not doing it. This is just not, I cannot do it. My pores look so big. Can you guys see that? Look how big and dotted they look. It looks uneven, it looks patchy, it looks horrible. Why is everyone else liking it? Oh, I just don't understand. Do I just have the worst skin ever? Cause that's kind of how it makes me feel. When these things don't work on me, it's like, man, everyone else just must be perfect because, like, they do not look good on me. That looks terrible. It's blotchy. It doesn't look even. My pores look absolutely massive. Forget it. I've seen other people just apply it just like that, and it literally looks like perfection on them. So maybe I'm the problem, but I'm not doing that. I just do not want to look cruddy today. I've already gone a whole weekend without wearing makeup. I'm in a bit of a mood, if I'm completely honest, having a bit of a rubbish day, and I do not need to look bad today. So that is, that's a no-go for me. Don't like it, absolutely returning it. Not the one, guys, definitely not the one. I'm trying not to eat as much chocolate, but I think I've been eating it so much I'm a bit addicted now. It's these um, sparkling ice, black raspberry, so it's like zero sugar. It's probably got all those chemicals that kill you, but we're all dying. And then you put heavy cream in it. Mm. If you got a sweet tooth, it really does the trick. Also, I had a zit on my nose. I popped that this morning. We're just gonna go in with more of that primer. I can't say it's the best primer because obviously my pores just looked huge just when I put that powder on. We'll see at the end of the day, maybe. I'm gonna do a wear test today. Maybe it'll be fab and I'll be eating my words, because that kind of happened with the Laura Mercier the other day, and then I was like, oh, you're kind of like a negative Nancy. So we're just gonna go in with the Valentino. This is the light lasting, I have the color MN3. And look how much better my skin looks already. My pores don't look ginormous, I don't look uneven, 
my skin looks like skin. I just can't do the powder foundations, guys. I, if you can, I'm very happy for you, but I can't do it. I just don't think they look good on people that have like texture, pores, <laughs> uneven skin tone. I don't know. Like, I just feel like the coverage wasn't even that good. Like, I could still, it was like looking all blotchy and like, it just didn't look skin like. Like, I want my skin to look like it's got a glow. And for me, that just looked really matte and powdery. And like, even though I'm oily, I don't want to look that matte. I want my my skin to look like skin that like is healthy. I literally have seen other people and they look amazing, but they all did have pretty nice skin to begin with. So maybe that's the key. I keep on seeing this moving and I think it's a person. This is the light peach and that was the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I was watching Rach Leary's latest video. Oh no, maybe not. no, I watched both of them. Um, I just love her so much. God, she's just so fab. If you guys haven't subscribed to her, you really should. She's, uh, she lives in England. She's way younger than me. I don't know how old she is, but she's definitely younger. You can tell because her skin is freaking amazing. Her skin is the best. Like, her face, like, it is the smoothest, most delightful, just glassy like oh her skin is goals she's also younger than me so i have to remind myself i always watch like way younger people than me and then i'm like why doesn't my skin look like that and i'm like dude be realistic they're like in their 20s and you're pushing 40 so calm calm down unrealistic expectations but i like their energy and she's really funny and she does bomb makeup so i feel like i have a hair I knew it. It was a cat hair. Okay, I am just going to take a little bit of this. It's the Sheer Envy Glow Serum Primer from Hard Candy. If you guys were on my TikTok live... Ooh, I feel like I should apply this with a brush. It's too late now. It's all over me. You will have seen it. It's like really glowy. Very oily though. I would never want to use it on my face because it literally feels like Vaseline mixed with olive oil. Like it's, it's a pretty greasy feel, but I just thought it might look really pretty on my chest. Yeah, look at that. <gasps> that looks so pretty. I'm just gonna actually set that with some sparkle. This is the Eva NYC. Yes! Before I put my bronzer on, I'm just gonna set the places where I have a little bit of like places for things to go, just with whatever is left on my puff. Do my usual, my Celestial Light from Laura Mercier. I try to use other ones and I just feel weird. Like they're just not as nice. I just love the way this one looks because it's so skin-like and it just like melts. It doesn't enhance texture. I can take it up underneath my eyes because it's technically like a setting powder with a, I just got that in my eye, with a glow. I just really need some makeup on today. I feel like it'll put me in a better mood. Like I usually don't wear makeup on the weekends. And do you ever feel like if you're like someone who's like used to wearing makeup, when you like keep looking at yourself without makeup on, you're so unused to seeing yourself that way that then when you're like constantly like catching glimpses of yourself you're like oh god i'm just so used to like having my full glam on for work that on the weekends like obviously i don't want to wear it because i'm like god i'm sick of doing my makeup <laughs> it's like an hour out of my day but then when i look in the mirror i'm like oh god i wish i had makeup on right now but then i just can't be bothered to do it because i have like other stuff to do like laundry and cleaning toilets and cat boxes. So it's like, I'm not gonna go and get makeup on to clean a cat box and clean a toilet and shower. But then it's like, it doesn't make me feel so great. Cause I like to look at myself and be like, oh yeah, girl. Instead of yikes, yikes. And then I'm gonna take my sunlight, uh, sunlight bronze from Glow Skin Beauty. Also my hair, I just washed it this morning before I did this and then I let it air dry most of the way. And then I just quickly, went over it with a blow dryer for just like a few minutes just to make it less wavy. You don't want it to be completely fully dry. You want it to be like almost, almost dry, like 90% dry. 
when you put it in otherwise it doesn't work as well if it's like super duper dry so it's definitely best to do like on a day that you're washing your face I'm trying not to ruin my hair <laughs> well have you guys been following luke and sassy scott on tiktok they're my favorite i love them so much they're literally so funny oh my god they just kill me okay i'm gonna take the house laps dragon fruit days it's so bright and we're just gonna pop that and keep it nice and high it really is such a nice blush i love these blushes from house labs she has nailed these colors oh my gosh I, look at them and even though they're matte they have like this really pretty like glow to them i am your father <laughs> powder time <sighs> party's here glug 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 prism libre we're just gonna go down here okay powder is done we're gonna do charlotte tilbury pillow talk for my lip liner and then i've got some new lip oils i'm just gonna do mac creme de nude right in the center i've got two lip oils i'm gonna try out this one first because it's a little bit lighter this is mist call it's those fat oils from nyx i tried the purple one yesterday i don't know i i don't know if i'm super in love with them honestly i just feel like there's better lip oils out there but we're gonna go this one a go i don't like i like the one because it's not very flexible it's quite stiff it's really fat but it doesn't come out that much like not that much product comes out and i just didn't feel like they were that shiny i don't know I think I'm so used to the Dior ones and I'm like, hmm, my lips still look kind of dry. Let's try the purple one on top. I just am not super loving it. That's chic. They do smell nice. That one kind of smells like Ravina. I just feel like the formula is not, it's okay. I think it's a good, it's a good option if you don't have the money to spend on the Dior, but I would not say it's a dupe for the Dior. I would say the dupe, or I'm sorry, the dupe, the Dior is way, way better. It's a much nicer formula, much more hydrating, and much more like, like making your lips look plump. But I feel like if, if you are looking for, you know, a close one, I would say that's chic is, a close color wise to the berry you guys know the berry is my favorite but i still like the dior better so that's my take on that let's do the eyebrows i need to see this is the l'oreal brow stylist definer oh i feel like there's a crack in my back it's like making me not breathe good Okay, I'm just taking the Red Aspen palette and I'm taking this color here, which is called Balance. It's not as shimmery as the one I normally do, but I kind of just want more of like a satin shadow up there today. Okay, then I'm gonna take this color Hard Candy Eye Define. Um, oh, the color is Pony. Oh, <gasps> Speaking of Pony, I had another dream about Channing Tatum last night. I don't know what's wrong with me. We're full on boyfriend and girlfriend in my dreams. <laughs> so pathetic like i was in a pe class which means i was like probably in high school and i was lying down on my mat doing exercises and he came and kissed me what is happening he was my boyfriend in my other one and we were gonna buy a house in la together this is looking way grayer than i thought um Maybe this is not the color I was wanting. Maybe this is the color I was wanting. Cold brew. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Um, yes. Yeah, so in the first one, he was. We were eating Cadbury chocolate eggs together. And um, in this one, I was in PE class, and he was like this guest substitute teacher. <laughs> I feel like such a loser. And he came and kissed me while I was on my mat. And I was like, oh my god, Channing Tatum is my boyfriend again. I'm so excited. I think it's because I saw him, like, there was, like, a post about it on TikTok with him and Alex Earl. So he was, like, who I saw right before bed. 
I think that's what happened. But isn't that so funny? Man, I didn't have the heart to tell Jay on this one. I told him on the first one, but then I was like, dude, if I've dreamed about him twice, he's gonna start feeling like inadequate. <laughs> so I said nothing. Oh, so funny. I've just told the entire world instead, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna buff this out. Wow, that is actually really pretty. That's a really pretty color. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the Fulfilled. Just gonna go in with my normal, just in the crease, just so I can set it a little bit. But I'm not gonna go on the lid with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of that cold brew and I'm gonna go underneath the eye as well. I actually really like this. It's so pretty. It's a super beautiful color and I feel like it's really easy to work with. It blends out really nicely. Yeah, see that's a really pretty smoky eye. All just with that pencil. This is from Hard Candy as well. It's got a really nice flexible wand but the color is, I actually don't know, but it's blue. And I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit of it. I'm just gonna kind of buff it out and I'm just gonna pop it. Oh my God. That is so pretty. That is really cool. When you just get a little bit of it and make it like not so metallic and more sparkly. Over that brown is really cool. I think the trick is, is to just use a very small amount by kind of shearing it out on your hand versus going straight in because then it will look more metallic. Now I'm just going to go in with my home just because I feel weird without a winged liner nowadays. And I'm just going to smoke out this wing here. I just really like the combination of like blue and brown together. I feel like it's just like such a good combo. Oh, I really like this look. Is anyone else super happy that Tommy won Tommy Fury? I was rooting for Tommy Fury because I love Tommy and Molly because I watch them on YouTube and I was so excited that he won. I'm not even like, I don't even follow fights or anything, but I just think Tommy seems like such a lovely guy and I always had a crush on him when he was in the villa. Like he was totally my type. So I was like, um, I'm going to team Tommy. And I just feel like they're a little baby Bambi, like the cutest name ever. I just love Molly Mae. She's one of my favorite pers people to watch on YouTube. So I'm totally gonna support my girl. And he won and I'm so excited about it. And I watched him on Loose Women or something. It was an English show. He just like seems like such a good guy. Like he's just a nice guy. And I just think they're the cutest couple ever. Okay, that was Seals Booster XL. And then I'm gonna take a long comb Hypnostrama. Strange things did happen in a stranger Oh, I just got it all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna let that little mess up dry while I um, brush off my bake. I just realized I didn't do my inner, my waterline highlight, which I'll do once it dries as well. Are you, are you? Let's see how pretty that blush is. It's just such a cute color. Okay, we're gonna do our Ben Nye Super White, wherever it is, where is it? Also, I'll link these little cups, they're so cute. Lily had a smiley face one, but she broke it the other day. So, I have another one coming. It's like a set of four and they're so cute. But they're really great for smoothies and those little blackberry ice drinks. They're just great little cups. Okay, I'm just gonna get a little eyebrow spoolie thingamabobber to brush off this mascara that I got all over the place. My red Aspen palette. We're just gonna pop that in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more of the dragon fruit and just keep it up a little high. 
I'm gonna get the peach. I'm just gonna kind of brush off my brush. Then get the pomelo peach or pomelo peach or however you say it. And we're just gonna pop that on top. And then my highlight brush again and just go over everything to make sure it looks nice and bright underneath the eye. Okay, this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It smells so good. It's like really fresh. Okay, I'm just finishing it off with this um, Pretty Fly Glow Getters in Pink In A View from Doll Beauty. And I'm just like really buffing that into the cheek. Carolina Herrera are a good girl blush, by the way. It smells amazing. I'm just gonna take the Monate Heat Protectant Spray. This is the one I use every single time I wash my hair. And I'm gonna spray it like all along the curls. Normally if I let this sit for four hours, I'll have great curls, but I don't have four hours today and I wanted to show you how I at least put it on. We're gonna put some heat to it. I just am really intrigued to see if it works this way. I feel like it will. Look at that, perfect. The way I did it, I did it good on that side. This side I really did good. Okay, then I'm gonna do it with the, the cool. Just to kind of cool it off. Now we're gonna take it out. I'm really interested to see if you can speed up the heatless curls. Oh, I feel like maybe you can. Let me just take this one out. I mean, obviously it's probably not gonna last as long, but let's just give it a go, shall we? Oh, it worked! It totally worked! That is fabulous! Now, I don't know how long they're gonna last for, seeing as we didn't leave them in as long as you're supposed to, but if you wanna do a little quick blow dry, you know what I mean? It did amazing! Look at that! And it looks so shiny, oh my gosh. So yes, you can speed up your heatless curls, if you don't want to wait for the four hours and you don't want to sleep in them overnight, you can in fact just leave them on, because I just had them in for an hour while I was doing my makeup. Leave them in for an hour and then you just have like a really nice like loose, almost like a hot roller. But see how it's a bit wild over here? I'm just going to kind of fix that area and then I'm just going to quickly just kind of smooth over these little parts where the headband was sitting just so that it doesn't look all crazy. I'm just gonna take some Rejuvenique oil and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that just on the ends of my hair just to make sure it looks nice and smooth and shiny and silky. Okay guys, and there is the finished look with the hair. I think that worked really well, even though it wasn't like in as long as it should have been. You can definitely still create like a really pretty like loose kind of wave if you don't leave it in the full time. Okay guys, so there is my get ready with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave everything linked down below. I'll see you guys in my next one.